Hi everyone! Welcome to another exciting project. In today's video, we are building a password-based door lock security system using an Arduino, a keypad, a servo motor, an LCD, and a buzzer. With rising concerns about security, this innovative digital lock system is a simple yet effective way to safeguard your home, lockers, or valuables. Here is how it works. The system unlocks the door only when the correct password is entered. The Arduino controls everything, from the keypad that takes your input to the LCD that displays messages like enter password or access granted. The buzzer provides feedback for button presses and incorrect passwords, ensuring a user-friendly experience. Even better, this system allows you to change the password if you know the master password, making it flexible and secure. This project is easy to build, practical and highly useful for enhancing your security. So let's get started. The components required for this project are Arduino Nano Board, then a 16 x 2 LCD display, a 10K potentiometer, then a 4 x 4 membrane keypad matrix, SC90 servo motor, a 5V buzzer, two LEDs like green and red, a pair of 330 ohm resistors, finally a breadboard, along with many jumper wires. All these components are easily available on Amazon or AliExpress. The purchase links are added to the website article. Let's take a look at the circuit for this project. I used Fritzing software to design this schematic. For this project, all the analog and digital pins are used. There are hardly any pins left unused. You may follow this schematic and connect all the components together. I assembled all the components on the breadboard. This is the Arduino Nano board connected to all the components. This is the 16 x 2 LCD display connected to Arduino via 6 digital pins. The contrast of this LCD is controlled using this 10K potentiometer. This servo meter acts as a tool for rotating the door. From this 4 x 4 keypad, we enter the password and operate this system using the buttons. A buzzer is here which plays melodies and feedback tones. Two LEDs are here, one for indicating the correct password and the other for indicating the wrong password. You need to make the same connection with your system. Let's see the Arduino C++ code now. First. We include the keypad, LCD, and servo libraries here. Then we define the servo, LED, and buzzer pin. Here, the pins for the LCD connection are defined. This is the keyboard layout for entering the character present on the LCD. Here, we define the LCD rows and column pins. Then, we define some master password, user set password, buffer, and entered digits along with password attempts. These are flags for different modes, which are set to true or false initially. Under the loop function, we initialize LCD, LED pins, buzzer pins, and servo. On the first boot, we need to set the system password. Under the loop section, all the operations like reading the keypad entry, playing sound feedback, handling password setup mode, and handling the password verification is done. This function plays sound feedback for a key press. This function is used to handle the password setup mode. To handle the master password verification for password chains, we have defined all the conditions in this code. Under normal operations, this function will come into play. When the password matches the door, unlocks, and the LED buzzer comes into action under this function. Finally, this function handles the incorrect password entry. You may go through the entire code to learn into more detail. From the Tools menu, select the Arduino Nano Board and Comport. Click on the Upload button to upload the code finally. You are done with the setup and you can start testing. So, the system is ready for the demo. On the first boot, it will ask you to set the password. 
From the keypad, use the number from 0 to 9 to set the 4 digit password. A is used to change the password. B is used to erase the mistake or do the correction. While C is used as an enter button. To set the password, enter 4 numbers from the keypad. Then click C as an OK button. So the password is set successfully. Now the LCD is displaying to enter the code to unlock the door. So let's enter anything wrong password. So it shows the code is incorrect and the red LED glows too. Let's enter the correct code now. So the green LED glows. The LCD shows access granted. The servo motor rotates unlocking the door. The LCD also shows 10 seconds timer before it closes the door again. Once 10 seconds is over, the door closes again. Let's try again with the wrong password. So here you can see the access is denied again. To unlock the door again, you may try entering the correct password again. Now, what to do if you want to change the password? For this, press button A. Then it will ask you for the master password. The default master password is 1234. You may change it from the code. On entering the correct password, the master is verified. Now it will ask you again to set the password. Enter any four digit password again. So the new password is set successfully. Now let's try to unlock the door with a new password. So it's working correctly again. In case if wrong password is entered, it will deny it again too. That's all from the working section. In order to get the circuit diagram, schematic, source code, program and all other details of this project, you can visit the link in the description. The website article contains everything including the written tutorial. Well, that's all from the today's project. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.